up to the committee so they can vote yes or no on a guy and believe it as we know from the past oh we see the finish there by pierce with two hands Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we will be talking to you about NBA stars reacting to Celtics legend's wild Instagram live moment. Now, let's get on with the video. Well, Paul Pierce had quite a night that day. The Celtic legends and soon-to-be Hall of Famer invited some scantily clad women to his home to drink and smoke with him and some friends. What Pierce does in his free time is entirely up to him, and he brought us enough joy during his career to prevent us from judging anything he does in his personal life. However, deciding to broadcast his night to his 850,000 Instagram followers probably wasn't the greatest idea. Paul Anthony Pierce was born on 13th of October 1977 in Oakland, California. By profession, he is an American former professional basketball player who played 19 seasons in the National Basketball Association, predominantly with the Boston Celtics. Pierce was a high school McDonald's All-American and earned consensus first-team All-America honors in his junior year at Kansas. He starred as captain of the Celtics, earning 10 All-Star selections and becoming a four-time All-NBA team member. He attended Inglewood High School. Pierce spent three years at the University of Kansas between 1995 and 1998. He earned honorable mention all Big 8 honors and was selected second team freshman All-American by Basketball Weekly. He was also an analyst on ESPN Basketball Program, The Jump and NBA Countdown. Pierce combined with Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen in 2007 to form a Big 3 that led Boston to two NBA Finals and an NBA Championship in 2008. Pierce was named NBA Finals Most Valuable player in 2008. Pierce is currently employed by ESPN, which is owned by Disney. He also has a wife and kids, and we don't intend to speculate about Pierce's personal life, but we can expect that live streaming his night will be well received by his employer or family. For those on social media, this has only provided another moment in the Paul Pierce not understanding social media saga. Pierce began this saga by tweeting out a picture of a rocket emoji during the 2015 offseason, at a time when multiple players were toying with fans and speculating their moves and emojis, he then brought two phones to record the slam dunk contest at NBA All-Star Weekend in 2017. Now, we have a new slew of memes and a new addition to the saga. Hopefully this entry doesn't have any serious ramifications on Pierce's life, and we can just enjoy the memes. During his incredible 15-year run with the Boston Celtics, Paul Pierce developed a penchant for capturing fans' imaginations with incredible feats and eye-catching movements on the hardwood. His Willis Reed-esque wheelchair game in the 2008 NBA Finals immediately comes to mind over the weekend though. He was the talk of the basketball world once again for an entirely different reason. Pierce went viral on social media on Friday after broadcasting himself during a poker night with the boys. In the game, though, he and his friends were clearly focused on things outside of chip counts or which river card was going to hit. Pierce, an NBA champion, finals MVP and 10-time All-Star, took to Instagram Live to offer the world a glimpse into his world with a poker night stream. However, there appeared to be a high level of extracurricular activity occurring during the game. In the live stream, which was captured and reshared via Twitter, the red-eyed Celtics legend was shown receiving a massage from a stripper. Simultaneously, another dancer could be seen on the floor, undulating and twerking for the camera. Seconds later, some of Pierce's friends began to throw poker chips at her as she writhed about. Unsurprisingly, it didn't take long for Pierce to become a trending topic on Twitter. And through no fault of her own or Pierce's, really, his ESPN colleague Rachel Nichols trended as well after she was mentioned in the IG Live comments. Needless to say, it probably wasn't what Nichols had in mind for her Easter weekend. Since wrapping up his 19-year playing career, during which he amazed more than 26,000 points, Pierce has been a fixture on ESPN's NBA programming. He regularly appears on shows like The Jump and NBA Countdown. Fans and members of the media alike have been abuzz throughout the weekend over Pierce's wild video. However, the best reactions to the incident may have come from a pair of NBA players. Washington Wizards star Bradley Beal, who was a teammate of Pierce's during the 2014-15 season, fired off multiple tweets reacting to Pierce's Instagram moment, and each one was better than the last. 
P. Wilden read his first tweet, along with a slew of faces with tears of joy emoji. Shortly thereafter, Beale joked that Pierce must have forgotten to limit who could see his live video, forgot to hit those close friends, he wrote. Finally, Beale lamented being faced with a scene so wild at such an early hour. Too early for this, he wrote in a tweet that was capped by the man facepalming emoji. Meanwhile, Los Angeles Lakers forward Kyle Kuzama was more pointed with his own Twitter response exclaiming, Paul Pierce a sicko. Still, the best response may have come from Pierce himself on the day after he had gone live and wild. ESPN parted ways with NBA analyst and former Boston Celtic legends Paul Pierce on Monday, just days after his wild Instagram live on Friday night, according to front office sports Michael McCarthy. Are you enjoying our video? In August 2018, Pierce discussed battling depression for a year after his stabbing, revealed that he dealt with paranoia over crowds and post-traumatic stress stemming from the incident. He divulged this information as part of NBA's initiative to focus on the mental health of its players. Before we get further, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more amazing videos from us. Let's continue with our list. Pierce has worked on ESPN since he retired from the league after the 2016-17 season and has been a staple on NBA Countdown, The Jump and in other NBA coverage for the network ever since. Pierce went live on Instagram on Friday night in a room full of dancers while smoking, drinking and apparently playing poker with all of his friends, all while clearly ignoring basic COVID-19 safety protocols. The videos made waves on social media both during the live broadcast and after. He didn't seem too bothered by the news on social media either, as he posted a four-second video of him just laughing on Monday afternoon. One player who had even gotten the best out of LeBron James, another basketball legend, beating him in the playoffs early in James Cavalier days, that player is Paul Pierce, the all-time leading scorer in Celtic history. The man that Shaq called the truth, Pierce has been known to publicly call out James without any real pushback by LeBron. In his latest attack in late May of 2020, while on the set of ESPN's first take, Pierce snubbed LeBron by leaving him out of his top 5 players of NBA history. What has LeBron done to build up any of these organizations, referring to the Cavs, Heat and Lakers? Pierce continued to jab at the King. Perkins in LeBron's defense called Pierce's list a personal one. He goes on and mentions their past history of matchups and altercations that ultimately finalized Pierce's choice on his top 5. Pierce played in the NBA from 1998 to 2017, almost entirely for the Celtics. The 10-time All-Star helped lead Boston to a title in 2008, when he was named the final MVP and averaged nearly 22 points and 6 rebounds per game over his 15 seasons with the franchise. Pierce then wrapped up his career with short stints on the Brooklyn Nets, Washington Wizards and Los Angeles Clippers. The 43-year-old was named the finalist of 2021, Hall of Fame class last month too. ESPN declined to comment to front office sports on the news, and Pierce has yet to comment further. And that is all we have for today. What do you think about this incident? Is it okay to share glimpses of your personal lifestyle on social media, or is it a social blunder? Do you know what to do? See you in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video. Consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.